Hello, this is Saran. In this video, we will be talking about how to make a paper airplane. This is the very classic childhood craft that I used to make it every time when I was a kid, especially for my little brother. We used to compete with each other. And what I used to do is, I used to decorate all the wings, which gives the children time to explore new things, new ideas, and also the knowledge regarding aerodynamics, which means the forces that impact the plane flight. You can also share your stories if you used to draw something on these wings or if you decorate it in a different way in your childhood days. You can share this all in the comment section. I'll be happy to read all of those comments. And the objectives of this video is not only to make you learn the five easy steps of making this aircraft, but also to make you learn the origin of airplanes, paper airplanes, where it has come from, country and the year. I suggest you guys to make notes or either remember all this information that I'll be sharing with you because at the end of this lesson, I will be asking you three multiple choice questions and you have to answer them in the comment section and I will also be telling you the correct answers. I know some of you already know how to make a paper airplane or you also might know the origin or the first year the paper airplane was made. But you might know something new in this video. You might to get know something new. So keep watching this video and the people who don't know how to make a paper airplane or have forget like me because we are in a adulthood now. So if you have forget it, how to make it or you want your children to learn new things like this, how to make a paper airplane in five easy steps, keep watching this video. You will be amazed to see how easy it is to make a paper airplane. So let's move on to demonstration part. I will suggest you to get a printer paper, which is 8.5 into 11 inches sheet to make this paper airplane and we will be making all together. Follow me. So here comes the demonstration part. As you can see, I am having a printer paper. This is 11 inches and this is 8.5 inches. The first step is to fold the paper into half. This is the 11 inches side and I am folding this. Match these corners and fix a crease line in the center. The first step is to make a crease line by matching the points. This was the first step. We get the center for it. Now the second step is to match both these corners to this crease line. So the second step is to fold these corners. You can do it one by one or you can do it all together. So the second step involved folding this. This was the second step. Third step is to fold this one inside. And then the fourth step is to fold these corners outside from both the sides. This one and this one. As you can see me doing. So I have folded the first one. As you can see. Now I'll turn it and do the another fold from the opposite side. So this was the fourth step. Now the fifth and the final step is here. As you can see, this looks like this from both sides. Now you will do as you have folded this thing. Now you will fold this two, this point, and match to the center this line right and same thing you will do to the another wing so this was the final step and you can see your airplane is 
ready to fly so as you have seen i have demonstrated you how to make a paper airplane and you know my habit of decorating it so i will be sharing some information with you and decorate it along so the use of paper planes was originated 2000 years ago in china in china so you may be seeing it another way around yeah so i have it in china here so yes paper airplanes were invented in china and that so 2000 years ago and when was the actual date or actual year you can say so it was 1909 the first airplane was made in China in 1909. So, now my airplane is ready to fly and it's time for you to answer multiple choice questions. Remember these answers. And I hope you have followed me demonstrating and you have made your own paper airplane. And please write these on the wings so that you can remember the information. And let's answer the questions now. I hope you all got your answers correct. Now it's time to summarize the lesson we have learned and these questions. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for the upcoming ones. Bye-bye.